welcome to this special episode of We the People coming to you tonight from Srinagar. It's an election in this state that is seen to be distinct and different from any that Jammu and Kashmir has seen before. The first phase of voting ended with a dramatically high turnout, a higher turnout, a significantly higher turnout, especially in key constituencies of the Kashmir Valley. The second phase of voting is now just a couple of days away. On We the People today, we ask what conclusions should we draw from the high voter turnout? Should we be looking to these elections to bring healing to a wounded state? Are these elections about hope or are the conclusions more hype driven? There are a number of new variables in this election, of course. There's the BJP making an unprecedented push for power in the state launching what it calls its Mission 44. There are former separatists like Sajad Loan who are now embracing the electoral fray. On We the People today, what does this election symbolize? What is the messaging of the election and what should be the expectations of it? Since we've spoken about the BJP being the new variable, I am going to start with the BJP, but I must tell our viewers that on this program today, we have brought together voices, not just from different parties, but also from different regions of the state. Because the truth is that the three regions, Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh, look at politics very differently. And that has been part of the problem. Can the elections change that? Let me start uh, with you, uh, Sanjay Kaul. You're Kashmiri yourself, you're a pundit, but you're also a leader of the BJP. How do you read the high turnout? And is the BJP overestimating itself with its Mission 44, which some now say is Mission 50 uh, and so on? Why is this election important enough to the BJP to abandon many of its old ideological positions, whether in on Article 370 or hobnobbing with someone like Sajad Lone, whom you once described, uh, not you particularly, but your supporters described as a, as a traitor? Okay, there are a couple of questions rolled into one. One is that there is no, uh, the assumption that uh, we have compromised on some of the... Uh, ideals of the BJP, uh, particularly with regard to Article 370. But you've I'm, heard what your candidates here in I'm, the valley have been saying, that we, they will leave the party, they will pick up guns if 370 is removed. I'm clarifying that uh, a statement here or a statement there does not shift, in, uh, uh, does not shift ideology. And I'm also trying to just uh, underline the fact that Article 370 is not a sudden idea. It's not something we want to impose at any cost. We are talking about uh, an exchange. Uh, Mr. Modi, when he spoke about it, talked about the idea being discussed and debated. But Mr. One. Modi hasn't spoken about 370 in his rallies so far in Jammu and Kashmir. Your vision document is silent on it as well. Also very telling because it, it, the attempt is not to make Article 370 the rallying point for anything. It is one of the problems that we have to solve, we believe, which will help JNK or Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh improve and progress. How do you is, read the turnout? Uh, reading only the Kashmir turnout would be an error because if you have seen uh, in the 15 constituencies that have gone to vote, uh, the consistency is what impacts you first. And which tells you basically that the people of Jammu, the people of Kashmir and the people of Ladakh are all asking for the same things, the which same is, fundamentals, which is, which is, which is, development, which is, progress, let's get a move on, let's get this state moving. Nizamuddin Bhatt, do you agree? Do you agree that this is the thaw of democracy in the winter of turmoil? And what does that tell you about the winds of change, if any, in Jammu and Kashmir? Uh, you will have to put this in perspective. Yes. Uh, in 2008, uh, we saw immediately after that, one year after that, 2010, yes. killings. People wanted a fire state coalition to go, which didn't yes. happen. Yes. And then we saw floods. Yes. We saw a lot of misgovernance. Yes. Now people are asserting, Delhi could not do, we will do it. We want to have, through elections, our own government, government of our own choice. And uh, presence of BJP on the scene, vehement presence of BJP on the scene has contributed more to the larger turnout. You're saying that the presence of the BJP has actually driven the high voter turnout? One of the factors. Junaid Matu, is this one of the rare uh, points on which the National Conference and the PDP actually agree? And when you talk about the BJP's presence being such a factor, aren't you willy-nilly then giving the BJP more importance than you otherwise argue it deserves in the valley? We haven't said that. Uh, if, if you look carefully at what we have said, uh, we have said that uh, the state has gone through a collective period of anxiety and uh, apprehensions uh, for uh, the last three decades. Yes. So the last thing that the people of the state needed is any anxiety. Now, my friend, 
uh, Sanjay might say that one statement here or there doesn't matter, but I just heard Subramaniam Swami from BJP yesterday say that we are actually not only stopping at Article 370, we are going to revoke the state subject law as well. Hmm. So, but that, my friend would call as a one-off statement. Hmm. So, there is this deliberate attempt to spark off another phase of anxiety. Do anxiety, you read the high turnout? That anxiety has been a factor to drive out people in unprecedented numbers to vote. S Sanjay, quick response. The argument doesn't hold water. Because if you, were, if you were to argue about this in Kashmir, the same would not hold in Jammu. Or I don't know, I, this is a very weird argument. So the point that we really want, if, if you're indeed saying that there's, and I don't understand what vehement presence is, presence is presence, but if it is having a response and it's getting people to come out and vote here, there or anywhere, I think the polarization is a polariz polarization for governance. It's what you have not been able to provide you. And the parties that are today talking yeah. about delivering these factors have been around for 65 years. They did not have the grammar to do it. You have tried it, you have failed, and you are on the sidelines. Accept it, and we have a case. Engineer Rashid, you have your own party. And uh, you have always been quite a blunt person. You have always made even controversial statements uh, on the hanging of Afzal Guru. How do you see this turnout? जो कश्मीर के लोग हैं उनको ये लग रहा है कि इन इलेक्शन से कश्मीर का मसला हल नहीं होने वाला है नहीं होने वाला नहीं होने वाला नहीं होने वाला तो इतनी तादाद में वोट क्यों दे लोगों को लगता है कि इन इलेक्शन से सिर्फ सड़क पानी बिजली और गवर्नेंस उनको मिलने वाली है इसीलिए वो चाहते हैं कि ऐसे रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स आ जाएं जो इनको सड़क पानी और बिजली दे दें बाकी उनको पता है कि अटॉर्नी का जो कोई दावा करे सेल्फ रूल का कोई कुछ कहे या अटूट अंक का कोई दावा कहे इससे कोई फर्क कश्मीर इशू की जो बेसिक्स है उस पर पढ़ने वाला नहीं है इसलिए लोग इस मसले को आज मेरे हिसाब से जो टर्न आउट आज का काफ़ी हाई आया है इसको कश्मीर डिस्प्यूट से अलग होकर देख रहे हैं दूसरी बात यह है कि जब आप टर्न आउट की बात करते हैं मुझे एक चीज बताइए क्या मिल्टन सी से पहले यहाँ पर हेवी टर्न आउट नहीं होता था क्या उससे मसला कश्मीर खत्म हुआ Yes. Performance of uh, Mufti's government, three years government, hmm. which which, which provided making a political which, which point. Which You're making a, a hope, political point for your party which, now. Which, which provided a hope. Yes. Uh, Vajpayee's initiative. Now people are pinning hope again with us. Yes. No one can say that uh, Mufti is being chosen only to give them good government. Hmm. He is being chosen that he will be a bridge. <laughs> and there will be but do you believe be do you believe my question was not about mufti saab the question was does this election offer hope for jammu and kashmir hope is never in air it's it's pinned with someone with some party okay june 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 is a party which offer no, no, but uh, every question you seem to ask any uh, pdp leader these days leads to an answer about uh, this eulogization of uh, mufti saab yes. the question is something uh, very different as far as i understand that yes we understand there is a political sentiment but the yes. fact is there is a political issue mm. we are we have a resolution that we put forth it might be acceptable or unacceptable so is the but election a healing I, touch the high turnout I, is it I, a symbol of hope i i i, I wouldn't like why are you all being so negative about something you no, should you, be celebrating you, you haven't heard me you've heard the first okay. uh, part of my oh, answer okay, okay. yes uh, this election has put forth an an urge to claim empowerment because there were a lot of people vying for a low voter turnout which would give some leg room for political manipulation so yes this is a very clear expression of a people saying that no at this crucial juncture we will empower ourselves we will come out and be counted so yes of course that is a good development okay i want to bring in abhi supporti now abhi uh, you're a kashmiri pandit but do you have a vote here uh, no i am basically enrolled in delhi so does it bother you that you can't vote in your own state Uh, well, I would have definitely loved uh, had I got the opportunity to vote here too, uh, but I believe the uh, law doesn't allow, uh, you know, we us to uh, vote, vote to, in two in different two places. Uh, places. 
but yes, uh, anything happening in the state does uh, you know affect me directly and indirectly also. How do you see this election? Uh, well, I'm very hopeful. You know, we saw uh, you know very good percentage of uh, vote. I really can't comment on uh, what the political leaders uh, really they have. Uh, but what is your expectation from this election or from this moment in Jammu and Kashmir's history? Well, uh, if you ask me. I really want to see a lot of development and growth now coming up. Uh, over the uh, last uh, 25 years, we have definitely seen that there has been a you know, concentration on one of the regions, the other one is suffering. Uh, if you ask me... Uh, you're you saying know, that the you're actually saying Jammu is suffering and Kashmir is getting more attention? Either ways. Uh, we have three major regions here. Yeah. If you ask me, I'm not sure how practical it is, but why not to have, uh, maybe whenever we have the uh, new government, an ideal position would be that we would have a government with complete majority, so that uh, good governments can be there. Okay. But at the same time, if we have, suppose, any government now coming in, my suggestion would be to have three deputy CMs from all the three, three regions. Three deputy sure. CMs from all the regions. Okay, uh, before I put that to the political panel today, let's get in Pinto Norbu. Uh, he is from Ladakh, and we often forget to talk about Ladakh when we talk about uh, Jammu and Kashmir. You have formerly been a politician, you're a hotelier today. What's the view from Ladakh, sir? Jammu and Kashmir tend to, as regions, fight each other, not uh, agree on anything. Ladakh gets left out of the argument. Most of the time, yes. Ladakh <laughs> does get left out. Yes. I feel very sad when I see uh, a, a area with so much potential in it, yes. like Kashmir, wasted in squabbling, internal politics, instead of having a clear-cut direction to aim for a goal, which, which, by which I mean prosperity for the people. Now, basically, when you talk about stability and instability, Kashmir is going through a tremendous phase of instability for the last 15 years. And I feel, yes. maybe I'm wrong, Maybe I'm totally wrong, yes. but I feel that a lot of it is rooted in the lack of development which has come by way of Kashmir. Kashmir has got tremendous But potential. is this an economic problem alone? It is also no, a political it's not, issue. No, it's not purely an economic problem, but like everything else in life, economy plays a tremendous, half the problems in life are of an, of an economic nature. Okay. In Ladakh, we hope for development. We have been neglected for the last 40, 50 years, but in the last few years, in the last maybe 10, 15, 20 years, Ladakh is on the, on the road to development. We could have a lot of problems. We, are, we have got China right next to us. We've got Pakistan right next to us. Both our borders, Kargil and Leh, have yes. got borders with, with Kargil okay. and with Pakistan. Okay. We, could okay. be, we could be in the real soup, thick soup. But we are concentrating on development, and as far as possible, we hope to be able to achieve something. And for that reason, our people are pacific, people are quiet, people are contented, by and large. Okay. Th there are occasions when a person like the Prime Minister comes to Ladakh and he comes out with totally wrong uh, addresses to the people. He came to Ladakh and he said, for us it has been, a, for the last 20, 25 years we have been pressing for access to Central Asian trade routes. We have been so what pressing was he wrong for access about? to, uh, to Kailash, Kailash Mansur. What was he wrong about? He didn't even mention about it. He said in Ladakh, he said something like, in Ladakh we should, grow, we should have more saffron. I mean, Ladakh doesn't grow saffron. Ladakh grows pashmina. Ladakh uh, saffron is grown in Kashmir. Okay, I'll, I'll allow Sanjay to come in briefly. <coughs> the arguments about Ladakh are valid, absolutely. Yes. But my point is still that if you were to also, uh, while we're exploring the subject, connect the, uh, the the response of the people in this time in, in Jammu and Kashmir to the response nationally, you will see that the pattern extends even more consistently. So it would be disingenuous to suggest... But this Mission 44, this would, Mission 44, what one. is it based on? Like, how many seas do you think you're going to get in the valley? My point is simply uh, that uh, Mission 272 was very easily uh, uh, crossed over and we were close to Mission 300, if you remember. Yes. Mission 44 is, is an idea whose time has come. As far as we are concerned, you may disagree with it, but that's, that's not an internal matter. The important point is this. It will be disingenuous to su suggest that Mr. Modi and the momentum that the BJP has brought on to the stage is completely missing here. Engineer Rashid, quickly, and then yeah, Neelam's yeah. been waiting to speak. Yeah, quickly. First, let us make it clear that Ladakh is not a separate province. It is part of Kashmir. So, who has separate? Yeah, when you say Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh, if you are the BJP... I am saying that there are three areas. I have given them their names. No, 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 no,
ہم نے قبرستان آباد کیے لیکن لداخ کو ہل کر اصل ملی کارگل کو ہل کر اصل ملی پھر بھی یہ چلا رہے ہیں جموں والے بھی انجوائے کر رہے ہیں دے آر انجوائنگ فرام آور سفرنگس اٹ از پیپل آف دا ویلی ہو آر ڈائنگ ہمیں کچھ ملا نہیں ہم نکلے تھے ہم میں آئی ول آئی ول آئی ول آئی ول آئی ول جب آپ پیکیجز دیکھ لیں آپ پی ایم آر پی دیکھ لیں پرائم منسٹر کمیشن پروگرام اس کا میجر شیئر جموں لداخ میں گیا کشمیر کو کچھ نہیں ملا دوسری بات کشمیری لیٹر ڈس ایگری وتھ کشمیریز وہ نکلے تھے آزادی ڈونڈنے اور آج ڈبیٹ ہو رہا ہے 370 کب ختم کرنا ہے اٹ از انجسٹس وی ہیو ٹو موو بیانڈ 370 رہے یا جائے از اے میجر یو نو کوشچن بٹ سرٹنلی دیر کین بی سم امینڈمنٹس لائک نمبر ون وی نیڈ ٹو الاؤ یو نو مچ گروتھ ان دس اسٹیٹ تھرو کارپوریٹس کمنگ ان جہاں پہ کہ ہم آج یہ بھی بات کر رہے ہیں ریہیبلیٹیشن آف ہندو فیسنیٹنگ کنفیوژن بٹوین دا اسٹیٹ سبجیکٹ لاز اینڈ آرٹیکل تھری سیونٹی آئی ہرڈ دا ٹالسٹ بی جے پی لیڈرس ٹاک اباؤٹ آرٹیکل تھری سیونٹی بٹ انویریبلی ٹاک اباؤٹ دا فیچر دا اسٹیٹ سبجیکٹ لاز Yes. They say that nobody can buy like land we, here. Like women and property. Yeah. Like women women, who marry the outside and their property rights. Women res, uh, residence disqualification bill. But doesn't, bill, but doesn't they don't the go right into the, the fact state, that it was thrown but out. But doesn't the right of the state to make those laws or to constantly need parliamentary That's approval for laws derived from 370? That's so to that extent they're connected. No, no. First, first of all, Barkha, Jee, Article, Jee, Article 370, 370 as it existed. It doesn't give Article Parliament a power yes. to amend state subject law. That's how Article 370 is relevant to us. Barkha, I want to answer Abhay's question real quick. He said that how does it impact me yeah. i'm a youngster too i will tell you how it impacts me how does the indian flag impact the daily life of an average indian it is a pride it is a symbol of nationalism but jammu and kashmir is part of india absolutely so and it's a sub sub ethnic nationalism within the federation of india it is a multicultural nation i have my flag i have my own political individuality as the resident Sanjay, of jammu Sanjay, and kashmir Sanjay, 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 your, Sanjay, your kashmiri would That's, you want the state to lose let, let you're from jammu and kashmir me, would you want the state to lose let own, me correct everybody ji including junaid mattu ji when we talk about <coughs> article 370 <coughs> yes i necessarily don't understand that it protects my cultural identity hmm. because cultural onslaughts can otherwise be ji through other means it's not a constitutional means only which will bring a cultural onslaught okay what it gives me is the protection from parliament to make certain laws about us as as you are and aware article 3 article 370 was eroded from 53 to 70 i'm seeing hands going up in our in our special invited audience as well okay. by three cabinets mufti sahab was a part Sa- of all Sa- three Sanjay, cabinets so one line in your own so party colleague is waiting to speak so quickly, quickly. now quickly. it wasn't important I, I, then i just want to lay yes. this at rest article 370 <coughs> yes. is the stock and trade of people who have run their political regimes for the last 65 years we know them they're all related and let's just put that aside because we're not talking about the past we're talking about the future this election is not about the past it all was about the future this is not about you feeling very special about yourself uh, ma- uh, but you, you know, accept multi- the description exa- of multicultural of india multicultural india has many cultures it is my okay okay once again i'm coming to i'm coming to everybody who has their hands up neelam gash you're a bjp candidate here uh, are you uncomfortable with the fact that the politics you may feel as a Kashmiri is not what your party actually has in Delhi. For example, Sanjay Kaul, who is your central leader, says that we will not change our position in 370. What is your position in 370? Uh, what I fail to understand is that people are taking the 370 article every time. When we are in Jammu and Kashmir, there are more problems from this Jammu and Kashmir. There is unemployment. یہاں پہ امپاورمنٹ نہیں ہے یہاں پہ ایجوکیشن سیکٹر بہت پیچھے ہے یہاں پہ ہیلتھ سیکٹر بہت پیچھے ہے اگر ہم اس 370 سیونٹی آرٹیکل پہ ڈیبیٹ کرتے ہوئے جینوئن پرابلمس پہ ہم لوگ فوکس کریں تو شاید ہم تو آپ کہہ رہے ہیں یہ نان ایشو ہے 
आपके no, लिए मुद्दा it's, नहीं it's है डिबेटेबल बट जो चीजें यहाँ पे एक्चुअली मैटर कर रही है कॉमन पर्सन को उन पे ज्यादा ध्यान देना चाहिए लेकिन बीजेपी का स्टेटेड पोजिशन है की थ्री सेवेंटी जाना चाहिए आप अगर अगर ये सरकार ऐसा करती है आप बीजेपी के साथ रहेंगी मैं बीजेपी के साथ रहूंगी या नहीं रहूंगी वो क्वेश्चन अभी भी नहीं उठता है बात यह है कि हमें लोगों के बेनिफिट के लिए क्या करना चाहिए उनके लिए उनके लिए बेनिफिशियल क्या उनके लिए तो आप जवाब नहीं दे रही हैं बेसिकली मेरे सवाल का जवाब यू नो टेकिंग अ क्लियर पोजीशन यू नो टेकिंग अ क्लियर पोजीशन मुझे बरखा लगता है वो जवाब वो जवाब दे रही हैं लेकिन वो बड़ा वो अनकंफर्टेबल है क्योंकि वो डेमोक्रेटिक एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट क्योंकि वो डेमोक्रेटिक एक मिनट एक मिनट वो डेमोक्रेटिक ट्रेडिशंस का एक मामला है अभी आप आप सबका कहना है कि डिबेट नहीं होना चाहिए सोच नहीं होनी चाहिए मैं आपको ये याद दिला रही हूं कि हीना भट्ट ने कहा आई पिक अप अ गन वो अलग बात है कि बाद में कहा आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पॉलिटिकल इंडिविजुअल इंडिविजुअल ओपिनियन देखिए वो नए नए आपको भी मालूम है है किस तरह हुआ क्या हुआ मैं आपको फिर बता रहा हूँ पार्टी की पोजीशन क्या है और पार्टी ये भी कह रही है कि इस पे चर्चा होनी चाहिए जी और इससे हम पीछे अभी भी नहीं हट रहे वो भी यही कह रही है तो आ, चर्चा कीजिए तो विजन डॉक्यूमेंट कुछ कहती ही नहीं थी कोई बात नहीं हम इसको मुद्दा नहीं बना रहे हैं कि बस यही और कल ही होना है जो पैंसठ साल आपने भुगत लिया तो मुद्दा क्यों साढ़े छह महीने में नहीं होगा of their own free will to participate yeah. uh, in election second thing boycott politics has become irrelevant having said that people are actually voting for governance not for the resolution of kashmir let's just get some of our young voices here i have nasir here who's a radio jockey now radio has been a big platform of <coughs> campaigning here let me ask you first uh, in you know i've read about how in 2010 when it was a period of unrest you were continuing with your show through then you've seen militancy you've seen trouble here कुछ बदल सकता है इस बार बहुत कुछ बदल सकता है अगर हम चाहें द सीड हैज़ ऑलरेडी बिन सोन आप देखो कि लोग कैसे बाहर आए हैं मेरे ख्याल से लाइक वर्ल्ड बिगन इज ऑलमोस्ट हाफ डन जैसे लोग आए हैं तो दिस हैज स्टार्टेड टू सेट द ट्रेंड कि जब हमारी अपनी कंस्टिट्यूंसीज में इलेक्शन होगा पीपल वुड वॉन्ट टू वोट एंड दे वुड वॉन्ट टू कम आउट नॉट बिकॉज देर इज़ अ सर्टन काइंड ऑफ इशू विच इज़ बिन लिंगरिंग देयर फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स बट देर आर बेसिक इशूज विच नीड्स टू बी एड्रेस्ड सड़क नहीं है बिजली नहीं है पानी नहीं है अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट नहीं है सब कुछ चांस दे रहे हैं लोग चाहते हैं कि ये चीजें चेंज हो मैं चाहता हूँ ये चीजें चेंज हो नहीं हो रही हैं तो मैं बाहर आके वोट दूंगा जरूर आप वोट देंगे जरूर क्योंकि अर्बन एरियाज में हमने देखा है कि उतने वोट यूजली नहीं डाल अर्बन एरिया वालों की ये प्रॉब्लम है कि जो वोट डालता है या नहीं भी डालता है उसके वोट कास्ट करने से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग की मेरा एक वोट अगर कोई फर्क उससे कोई फर्क होता है तो शायद मुझे वो वोट कास्ट करना चाहिए सो यू आर होपफुल I am. Yes, I am. Okay, I'll come back to you. Let's get a perspective here. What do you think? What are your expectations? Uh, I am not even contemplating uh, on 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 voting. I vote not. No, I am not. So uh, this is just interesting. I mean, these are two uh, these are two young men from Srinagar, and both of them have completely different impressions of uh, the political situation. Why do you not vote? See, there has been more misuse of power than there has been use of power. You have again people who have been given the mandate who are, who were uh, earlier removed from. from their portfolios because yes. they were tainted and what expectations now you would have in future but aren't you but you know in in bandipur for example or in gandharbal we've seen a dramatic increase in voter turnout how do you see this i mean see uh, we cannot negate the fact that kashmir uh, has gone through a lot of crises yes. and we can also we cannot uh, not even negate the fact that kashmir is a political problem people have came out uh, in large numbers so that they want an efficient uh, governance in place which has been lacking uh, over the last so so you want so, yeah. one thing i want to add here is like hum logon se kehte hain ki like main अगर किसी को कहता हूँ कि आई गो आउट एंड वोट मुझे कहते हैं कि नहीं तुम क्यों वोट डालने जाओगे दोस्त पीपल हु डोंट वोट दे डोंट हैव द राइट टू से कि हमारे यहाँ बिजली नहीं है पानी नहीं है सड़क नहीं है जब वोट नहीं कास्ट करोगे एक रिप्रेजेंटेटिव चूज नहीं करोगे फॉर दैट मैटर इफ ही मे बी गुड और बैड वेन यू डोंट हैव द राइट टू चूज योर ओन रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हाउ एट द एंड ऑफ इट यू कैन से कि हमारा काम नहीं होगा वो कह रहे हैं quick response to a bjp proposal a bjp proposal in the vision document speaks of uh, reservations 
for displaced Kashmiris, three seats uh, to be taken out of the quota of uh, the Kashmir Valley, and also, of course, reservations uh, for of uh, refugees from West Pakistan. Uh, Sanjay, what's the logic behind this reservation proposal? It's pretty much the same that's been uh, everywhere. Everybody is looking for validation hmm. of their existence and uh, uh, through representation. Now, when you are not going to be able to provide a convenient or a logical or, 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 or ambient mechanism for doing something like that, you have to use artificial means. That's why you have the idea of reservation. And you know that, and I'm sure that my the Kashmiri brothers of, of Kashmir would not uh, have a problem. I'm going to just ask the parties reason. to respond to that. But Nazir, how do you yeah. think? What, what do you think? Uh, does this create a new <coughs> variable in the political debate here? I think it is uh, perhaps BJP is going against its national policy when it say no reservation based on the religion. It is True. a religion based reservation. But they're saying it's for displaced Kashmiris. It, it, they it, haven't. It may be. It, it, it's, example, not, it's not, for example, for somebody, for a pundit who lives here. Refugees from uh, West Pakistan or Kashmiri pundits. They can contest from as many. Any Sanjay, as quick response, want. and then I want to get Junaid and, so and, and, and Nizamuddin to come. Very correctly, it said Kashmiris. So it is not really. Displaced religion. Kashmiris. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's not really that. It's basically about people who have lost the rights that belong to them. And so this is an attempt to repair a situation and I'm sure the Kashmiri Muslims of, of, uh, of Kashmir would not have a problem. So let's just that. get the three politicians to respond. Would you support this? Uh, I, I mean, Nazir pointed out something very accurate. I mean, this seems to be uh, a ploy ahead of the elections to give reservations on the basis of religion, invariably. Why do, say why do you say it's on the basis of religion? I mean, look at it. I mean, you might call it anything, but uh, I mean, th then there is the issue of uh, the, the refugees from West Pakistan. Yes. There is the issue of the rehabilitation of Kashmiri Pandits. Please tell me, what did the NDA government do so about So, would you it? oppose this reservation proposal? Would the National Conference oppose this reservation it is for proposal? The, it is for the electorate, the voters to oppose and propose what they are putting out N in their N N N vision what, 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 what position would the PDP you take? These <coughs> are part of us. They are essence of our culture, but uh, I just don't uh, understand the logic of this appeasement of Pandits by by BJP. They have been always <laughs> appeasing and um, um, finding out new means to appease them again. This is another example. Couldn't it be this seen as a way to bring example. them, couldn't it be seen as a way to bring people back? Because rehabilitation policies have failed in the rehabilitation past. Rehabilitation is uh, never connected with uh, preservation for seats. But, but come they can, yeah. Okay, we have provided reservations. We have provided, reserv we have provided reservations. We have provided let, them, reserv let them, let them. Let them deliver it. We have, we have given reservations back. to Kashmiri it's Pandits in jobs. We have given you, you, reservations you to them in jobs. You used to accuse the Congress of appeasement politics. Yeah, yeah. Now you are being accused of the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. One yeah. very morbid Please. sort of yes. idea here. Yes. Yeah, okay. But but no, I just thought it's a very morbid idea to suddenly start talking about this as appeasement of pundits. But appeasement of pundits <laughs> is, an, is a strange. Nazir, 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 Nazir you can't to call that. anything you agree with. Point. Yes. It's, it's not stupid. just one this point which is controversial. Also, while the BJP is silent about 370 in this election in their vision document, they are also talking about introducing Devanagari script for the Kashmiri language. I, I, I wonder what will happen to the. You know, but um, Laleshwari Laldad has said in, in, in Farsi language, in, uh, in Kashmiri, which is written in uh, Kashmiri language, written in Farsi. Sanjay, are you uh, seeking so needless language so, debates, so or debates should, whether it's Sanskrit in, in, what in Delhi or... What would happen, but All, all languages which are culturally belong to this land should be revived. That's a principle, that's a policy, should continue. I don't think anybody would have a quarrel with that. Engineer Rashid. Yeah, on one hand, we <laughs> say that situation has uh, uh, returned to normalcy in Kashmir. Why don't Kashmiri printers come to Kashmir then? Agar aap ek taraf heavy turnout ka enjoy kar rahe malave kar rahe ki kafi turnout hua hope aa jayegi let kashmiri printers return na par mandir abhi aap kyun nahi wapas aate please please ha ji wo bole bole so do you oppose the reservation proposal by the bjp hamari lashu ke upar aisa ho sakta hai hamari lashu ke upar aisa ho sakta hai ye kya ye kya baat hui i will tell you mujhe kal bataye fir kal hindustan ke musliman kahenge kuch kuch mps hai is waqt hamari parliament mein फिर कल वो भी कहेंगे एज पर पॉपुलेशन उनको अपना शेयर मिलना चाहिए इट इज एब्सोल्युटली क्रिमिनल एजेंडा जो रियास को डिस्ट्रॉय करेगा वे सुपोरी एक इन्होंने सवाल उठाया दे अगर इतना कुछ बदल गया है तो आप वापस क्यों नहीं आ जाते इस स्टेट में खास तौर पे जब हम वैली की बात करते हैं यूथ को एक बहुत मेजर डायरेक्शन चाहिए अनफॉर्चूनेटली जो हमारा यूथ ऑलरेडी वैली में है हम क्या उनको पूरा रिशेप कर चुके हैं क्या हमने उनके लिए डायरेक्शंस क्रिएट किए हैं हमारे अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट का तो पता नहीं कितना ह्यूज रेशो है जो हमारा यूथ है उसको एक प्रॉपर डायरेक्शन चाहिए अब मैं अगर सिर्फ म्यूजिक की बात करूं मेरे म्यूजिशियंस किसी के पास कोई एवेन्यू नहीं है कुछ नहीं है तो जिनके पास यहाँ एवेन्यू नहीं है उनको तो हम संभाल नहीं पा रहे हैं और साथ में हम और भी लोगों को ले आए और वैसी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उस प्रॉब्लम के ऊपर और भी ज़्यादा डाल दें मैं आपको बताऊँ ये कांगड़ी सामने पड़ी है 
इसमें थोड़ा सा कोयला और डाल दीजिए ये बुझ जाएगी इलम आप आपकी क्या पोजीशन है इसमें आप बीजेपी के हैं वुड यू सपोर्ट रिजर्वेशन फॉर पंडित वुड यू अग्री विद इंजीनियर राशिद हुसैन ओवर माय डेड बॉडी रिजर्वेशन होनी चाहिए मस्ट है जहां पे आप माइनॉरिटीज का सवाल आ जाता है वहां पे रिजर्वेशन होनी चाहिए आपने देखा होगा कि बीजेपी ने अपने असम्बली इलेक्शन में रिजर्वेशन पंडित्स के लिए भी रखा हुआ है माइनॉरिटीज के लिए स्पेशली उसमें शिया मुस्लिम आते हैं उसमें But have pundits, have pundits received no job packages with yeah. no semblance of reservation? They have. But, uh, Over the successive years, uh, and you are responsible for special that. employment drives were held for Kashmiri pundits. And why is that wrong? When you are saying they are responsible, are ये गलत क्यों है? यार गलत इसलिए है because why not packages for the Kashmiri Muslims who have suffered for 25 years? हमें कोई job package नहीं मिला. We were subjected to forced labour for 15 no, no, years, no. but we couldn't get okay, any we, package. Let, let, let me, let me answer. Here. I agree with you. The majority has suffered. The minority has suffered. Kashmiris as a people have suffered. 70,000 people have died. Everybody has suffered. There needs to be the redressal of grievances of every section of the society, but not in a manner in which you fragment the society on the basis yes. of region and oh, religion. Oh, okay. Uh, you have a question on the reservation proposal. First of all, when you talk about reservation proposal, as Abhay said, what uh, I could gather from his uh, comments was that. the more problem is more economic that's why you don't want to come back it's not more uh, sort of political mm -hmm. now if you look at two or three constituencies yeah. kashmiri pandits are fighting elections sanjay saraf is contesting elections ashok bahan is contest contesting elections mm -hmm. neelam gash went ahead and said that okay we need to have uh, reservations for minorities <laughs> tomorrow Chris christians are going to come up tomorrow muslims are going to come but up. shouldn't everybody shouldn't everybody be represented do we really need a uh, would do we need really to take why this country in and forward on the, on, on the matters of minorities and minorities okay i i, I want to get i want to get sanjay collin uh, engineer rashid says over my dead body that is pretty much the grammar that we have heard from extremists of all kinds so you know it he's has to be an, extreme he's, a, he's an elected death, mla so you are calling to, him an extremist death has to somehow come in <laughs> killing has to be part of my grammar <laughs> your dead body has to come in this is part of the grammar that they okay. are used to i don't blame him yeah. he has learned nothing yeah. else yeah. now the point is simply this that some of the reasons that these people are talking about are internal it's not that there is a reservation on minority basis or anything of the sort the point is simply this can be help <coughs> everybody move along what has kashmir seen up to now politically is basically yes. family run politics at most and a little adjunct another party which comes out which is bab beta party national conference mm. congress pdp here is a phenomenal opportunity to get away from that all anybody anybody in kashmir could tomorrow be the chief minister could tomorrow actually seek to represent anybody so you're saying it's a level playing field absolutely it's a level playing field what is changing uh, hamida name hamida name uh, we, the the bjp's vision document proposes reserving three seats for kashmiri pandits why not why not all of you abhi nizamuddin bhatt sahab ne kaha that pandits are a part of us why not welcome them with open arms if this bring pandits back why not well uh, you have to begin <coughs> if you have to set norms it has to begin from the country yes let us begin you have to first of all see how many seats bjp has given to muslims first of yeah. all in the parliament hmm. and That's if right. it has that if it has done there Then you use the same formula, same norm here. Yeah. Otherwise, you are using democratic principles in one way, but in Kashmir, you are using post-modernist principles. I think that's Where a good question, I I, and I want Sanjay to answer that. Then you are fragment. Just please. Acha, complete, complete. 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 Uh -huh. You are fragmenting society into bits and pieces, then asking reservation for this and that. Yes. This does not happen. If we use the same logic in India, then India could be divided into 200 countries, 200 communities. Each community has to be given a. But the history of the, but the exodus, the exodus and the re, uh, it was a particularly violent phase. The rehabilitation has not worked. Your question on BJP and Muslim representation is valid, yeah. but why? It doesn't change my question to you. Why not welcome the pundits back with so open we arms? All, we are all welcoming yeah, them, no, but it should them. not be politicized. My question is, it should not be politicized. <coughs> Mr. Norbu, one second. Say, yeah. Sanjay, call. the question of bjp and muslim representation then you all say then you all say religion shouldn't matter aisa nahi aapne khud hi kaha sabse pehle ki humne kashmiriyon ki baat kari thi aap hi ne this was not religious i am quoting from your vision document no no usme kashmiri likha kashmiris displaced kashmiris. Kashmiris. kashmiris perfect absolutely correct therefore but those are pandits ha so the, the yes. point now here is the case yeah. if they are displaced
place, then this is not the norm, and that is where she's wrong. It is not normal. Yeah. If it were normal, it would not require abnormal has input. It, it was abnormal. Hang on, hang on, madam. The norm hang on. has madam. been made for. None of the norm comes from the word no. normal, madam. No, there is nothing so normal about the exodus. Oh, okay, okay. You're all speaking. You're all speaking together. If so many people have migrated from Muzaffar Nagar recently, then you are getting them back. Calling a migration. No. If you are trying to suggest to me that the Kashmiri pundits left because there was a migration, then you are adding insult to injury. Okay, okay, ma'am, you made a migration. Okay, okay, okay. Don't use the word migration. Okay, okay, one minute. No, no, I'll minute. come back. Yes, I will yes. come back to you, Mr. Pinto. Norbu, very patiently trying to speak. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, when you when you look at this whole issue of reserving three seats for Kashmiri pandits yes. displaced from oh. Kashmir, yes, uh, on the face of it, it seems such a blatantly political move to try and reach Mission 44 or Mission 50, whatever it is. Huh. How can how the BJP government could come out with such a thing? It it uh, completely defies logic. But would you not want an inclusive representation <laughs> yes, in the assembly? Yes, maybe mean, maybe have one have one seat for Kashmiri Pandits because they have been displaced. They can they should aspire for one seat at least yeah, at least one. Abhi, 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 one. Abhi, 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 uh, Abhi, please, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Okay. And the other thing is the other thing is when they talk about including Sanskrit in par as a part of the cur curriculum for students. <laughs> Then you could have the European people saying that we should have Latin as part of the educational curriculum. Sanskrit is a, is a v wonderful language, no doubt, no uh, no um, uh, doubting okay. that. Okay. But it's a, it's it's a language of the past. There are other modern languages. My own region, Bhoti language. We have been fighting for the last 15 years. Please include Bhoti language. But you're contradicting yourself. You no. want to you want to embrace your own cultural roots, but when no, Sanskrit like, is part like, of our history. No. Sanskrit is part of history, yeah, exactly. And a classic language from classic. which many other languages yes. derive. But why should it be taught as part of the curriculum? If somebody I'm opts for it, yes, them. they should. Okay, okay, but, okay. But German. Bhoti language, which is part of our language. Okay, you're all speaking together. I want Abhay to come in. Abhi, this uh, reservation <coughs> proposal, do you think it would bring pundits back? Do you think it, it would? But, uh, the first thing is, uh, when we talk about leadership, it has to be, uh, uh, you know, above any personal belief, yes. faith, religion. Leadership is, uh, you know, uh, guidance. Ji. It's uh, taking the people forward. The moment you uh, plug in, uh, you know, uh, uh, points like uh, religion, faiths, so we have problems aana shuru ho jati We have to move beyond that. But you have asked the question engineer Rashid, that you have so many situations, do you ever think that you will come back? Do you think that the situation has changed? But you are saying this, and you are also saying this, that in the past 25 years, the brothers who are here have suffered so much. What do you think? उनके लिए क्या सोचा वही मैं इनसे कह रहा हूँ जो यहाँ है उनके लिए क्या सोचा तो और लेके आ रहे हैं अभी आप यू इंजीनियर आशीष बीइंग कम्युनल बाय सेइंग बाय सेइंग ओ व्हाई नॉट गिव दिस टू कश्मीरी मुस्लिम्स व्हाई नॉट गिव दिस टू कश्मीरी मुस्लिम्स योर यूजिंग एक्सेक्टली सेम � पंडित भी मरे हैं, मुसलमान भी मरे हैं, फौजी भी मरे हैं, पुलिस वाले भी मरे हैं। जब आप पैकेजेस की बात करते हैं, आप मुझसे पूछें, जहां 14 बरस तक हमसे फौजी लेबर आर्मी ने ले ली, यू कैन चेक इट आउट फ्रॉम द पुलिस रिकॉर्ड्स, एंड वी कुडेंट गेट इवन एस बिट ऑफ पैकेज। एक, दूसरा that's the resolve because people have voted. Then, the darkest part. You're also a radio jockey like 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 Nasser, very popular uh, show that you run. What is the mood that you're picking up? Because you really have a sense of the pulse of the people. People really want to vote. Uh, I spoke to a couple of listeners a uh, few days back, just in polling. Thi. So I asked them, I said, uh, you went out to vote. The girl was from Gandharbal and she said, yeah, I went out to vote. I said, why did you vote? She said, we development. Chahiye. Hmm. हमें बेटर रोड्स चाहिए आप हमारे गांव में एक बार आइए वो लड़की मुझे दुआएं देने लगी फोन पे कहती है खुदा के लिए एक बार हमारे गांव खुदा के देखिए हमारा हाल क्या है वी रियली वांट हमें डेवलपमेंट चाहिए हमें बेटर एजुकेशन चाहिए हमें बेटर खाना पीना चाहिए हर चीज की फैसिलिटी बेटर हेल्थ सेक्टर चाहिए और उस चीज के लिए वो वोट करने मैं हमीदा नईम से पूछना चाहती हूं क्योंकि आप यू आर वेरी सिनिकल अबाउट द टर्नआउट आपने हाया की बात सुनी यहां पर कि जिन लोगों से इन्होंने बात की वो वोट देना चाहते हैं बिफोर आई आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आई वांट नो नो लेट्स मूव ऑन लेट्स मूव ऑन आई वांट टू टेक दैट नो नो वी आर नॉट गोइंग बैक आई एम सिंपली सेइंग जी Kashmir issue has been reduced by media, by Indian government to a problem between Pandits and Muslims. That is at the back of all this, at the root of all this. Ji. So you are actually burying the issue and you are actually addressing the offshoot. Inka, inka jawab turn out pe, inho ne jo bola. Well, I will tell you, we Kashmiris look at elections as something separate from the main uh, conflict. We see it as something which has to put a government in place for five years. And therefore, it is mandate 
it is objective is an administration okay aap... and therefore and therefore <clears throat> people are right when they say we want to vote for roads for bijli sadak pani they are aap ye aap ye manegi ki conflict ek taraf now let us speak now let us speak now let us speak the problem is when the government is linking the election with the large issue there is a problem uh, okay aap do you do you feel ki ye koi ummeed ka phase hai aur do you feel ki ye sirf bijli sadak pani ki baat hai aur are the two internet दोनों चीज़ें इंटरलिंक्ड है वन और दूसरा आई आस्ट हर मैंने कहा आप जब वोट करने की बात करती हैं तो आपके जहन में ऐसा क्या है जो आपको यू नो दैट फोर्सेस और दैट प्रॉम्प्ट्स यू टू गो आउट ही सेड इस सब के अलावा हमें एक ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट चाहिए मुझे एक बेटर कश्मीर चाहिए एंड ऑल्सो एक्सक्यूज मी मिस्टर रशीद आई हैव अ पॉइंट उसने साथ में ये भी बोला उसने कहा कि मैं वोट देने जाऊँ या ना जाऊँ गवर्नमेंट बनेगी so why not go out and vote and choose a person of my own choice okay that's 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 uh, that's interesting the need to have a voice in the system we also have two young boys from ladakh here let's get their perspective <laughs> how do you see these elections you study here in srinagar yes ma'am uh, i am zakir hussain from kargil ladakh uh, oh, uh, is election se mera yahi matlab expectation hai ki is election se special jo border waves to un wahan ke logon ka yahi expectation hota hai ki peace ho security ho equal power sharing ho or डेवलपमेंट हो क्योंकि आप देख सकते कैलकुल वॉर फील हर टाइम यूज किया गया तो लोग पीस और सिक्योरिटी आप क्या बोलेंगे मैम मैं मेरा नाम मुख्तार हुसैन है मैं पॉलिटिकल साइंस डिपार्टमेंट में पढ़ता हूँ तो ये बात है कि जब भी कश्मीर का इशू निकलता है जे एंड के इशू निकलता है लद्दाख से आइसोलेटेड लद्दाख को जैसे लद्दाख कोई एग्जिस्टेंस में ही नहीं है और करगिल को तो पर्टिकुलरली ये किया जाता है अभी हमारे पास प्रूफ है मैप में ले को लद्दाख लिखा है करगिल को पता ही नहीं कहाँ से गया वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एटल सेंसिस रिपोर्ट से और सेंसिस रिपोर्ट में भी ले लद्दाख करगिल तो मैं चाहता हूँ पर्टिकुलरली हम हमें कोई पार्टी से फर्क नहीं पड़ता पिछले साठ साल से अलग अलग पार्टी रूल कर रही ना हमें जोझ रहा है वी आर टोटली डिसकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम द इंटायर So, so the isolation of Ladakh is something we're hearing in this program. What about you? Uh, do you will you vote? Do you have a vote? Oh, I'm sorry. I texted Mr. Abdullah for a voter ID card, but I didn't get a reply. The point is, you have a very bad governance right now. My point is, uh, talking lesser of the three evils. Uh, yes, I am going to vote. We cannot. neglect these elections these politics of polarization what they're doing this this nicely learned plan from obama's administration how he divided representatives and how he divided them so kya ummeed kya ummeed hai is chunav se aap uh first of all politicians have fetished elections for long elections shouldn't be taken as an end but a means to the resolution i think it's a means to the resolution for good governance aap keh rahe hain turnout ko hi resolution na mana no turnout definitely doesn't mean uh, you, you, you you want to add to that the biggest thing is this election is all about development like all other elections development accountability is needed and 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 if and if bjp is really really serious of serious of mission 44 in kashmir they have a wonderful opportunity and that is listening to the people be not playing regional politics opening up their uh, opening yeah. up to people of kashmir accepting them the way they are accepting their all okay. their okay 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 i okay i have to i have to take a break but quick comment here yeah adding to mukhtar ali i said that there is where are you from कारगिल लद्दाख इन इवन की सेंसेस ऑफ इंडिया 2011 में लिखा है कि लेह के साथ लद्दाख ऐड किया हुआ है और कारगिल आइसोलेटेड अलग के रखा है और एक्सपेक्टेशंस की अगर हम बात करें गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से हो या जम्मू कश्मीर से हम उनसे यही कह सकते कह सकते हैं कि हमको उनसे वफा की है उम्मीद जो नहीं जानते वफा क्या है क्योंकि हर बार हर बार चाहे स्टेट पॉलिटिशियंस हो या सेंट्रल पॉलिटिशियंस हो वो सिर्फ दो ही बहाने लेके आते हैं एक तो जोजिला टनल और दूसरा एयरपोर्ट का मैं उनसे ये कह सकता कहना चाहता हूँ कि इसको बहना बना के तो और ले सक ले जाते हैं लेकिन दे डोंट थिंक अबाउट द चेंज ऑफ फेड ऑफ लद्दाख हमारे पास ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट की बात बिल्कुल नहीं होती सो आई थिंक वी आर हियरिंग स्ट्रांगली फ्रॉम द लद्दाखीज अबाउट देयर सेंस ऑफ एलिनेशन बिफोर आई टेक अ ब्रेक एंड वी टेक फाइनल कॉमेंट्स रविंद्र कौल जी आप श्रीनगर में हैं लेकिन हैं जम्मू से कश्मीरी पंडित हैं आपने बहुत चुपचाप ये सारी डिबेट सुनी आप क्या बोल रहे हैं this is about bijli sadak pani and not about kashmir issue i completely disagree with this because bijli sadak pani has always been a problem in jammu and kashmir state when the voting percentage was 10% it was bijli sadak pani 20% now 70% it, it, it is bijli sadak pani you cannot explain it away what has this has this law has has this has this realization come suddenly into kashmiris oh ye this this is ek minute ek minute since 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 aapne since aapne kaha vote nahi denge aap iska ek minute yeah we have someone here who doesn't want to vote aap aap jawab because uh, because uh, we don't see any uh, resolutions uh, coming uh, as of now i mean uh, this is why the so you the find the elections irrelevant to the yes problem. yes of course because the problem still persists this is what i was try trying to, to, to um, emphasize okay quick i i would want to make a point here aapne kaha ki पिछले साल भी ऐसा ही था या उस मतलब 
पहले से ऐसा होता आ रहा है लेकिन पहले लेकिन 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 सी सी वी आर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कश्मीर इशू इज सेपरेट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द यूथ हु इज फीलिंग एम्पावर्ड राइट नाउ पहले इतनी वोटिंग नहीं होती थी आप देखें इस इलेक्शन में कितने ऐसे वोटर्स भी पहली बार निकले वोट डालने के लिए सो दैट मीन्स कि लोगों को पता वो क्या कर रहे हैं मैम ने अभी कहा कि आप ऑफ शूट्स को एड्रेस कर रहे हैं आई वुड लाइक टू डिसग्री विद हर आई नो कि मैंने वोट क्यों डाला है मुझे पता है किसको डाला क्यों डाला मुझे मुझे पता है मैंने वोट क्यों कास्ट किया मेरे वोट डालने से अगर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट इंटरनली मैं कल को ये ब्लेम नहीं कर सकता कि बिजली नहीं है सड़क नहीं है पानी नहीं है हमीदा क्विक रिस्पॉन्स एंड देन फाइनल कॉमेंट्स विल टोटली आउट ऑफ टाइम क्विक रिस्पॉन्स प्लीज नो द क्विक रिस्पॉन्स इज व्हेन द इलेक्शंस आर अनाउंसड इज इट अनाउंसड दैट दिस इज यू हैव टू डिसाइड व्हेदर यू आर विद इंडिया और पाकिस्तान और व्हाट एल्स इट्स नॉट अ रेफरेंडम दिस इज नॉट अ रेफरेंडम बट दिस इज नॉट अ रेफरेंडम इज इज दैट इज नॉट अ रेफरेंडम देयरफॉर देयरफॉर दैट इज व्हाट दैट्स माय पॉइंट नीदर अ रेफरेंडम ऑन आर्टिकल 370 ओके नीदर इज नीदर इज नीदर इज देयरफॉर प्लीज लेट मी therefore it is basically meant to put a government in place and therefore please don't link it with the large issue okay we have to take a quick break when we come back just 5 minutes left in the program final comments from all our panelists what is the central takeaway from what we've seen on the campaign trail so far coming back in a moment from now Welcome back you're watching we the people a heated debate on the takeaway from these elections people saying that some people at least saying that voting should not be conflated with a larger resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir issue just about time for final panel uh, comments from our panelists we'll start with you Pinto Norbu what does this election represent I feel people would like to vote for development and that is a very very important and basic requirement okay. for stability Okay ne Neelam Gash what is this election about for you Uh, people of J N K vote for it for progress, empowerment, and development. And जो जो हमीदा नहीं कह रही हैं कि जो बड़ा मुद्दा है जो problems 20 साल से चल रही हैं वो इस चुनाव से resolve नहीं होंगी उसके बारे में आप क्या कहेंगे? आपको नहीं लगता पिछले 20 साल से ये problem भी चल रही है कि यहाँ पे development नहीं है? आप इसका जवाब दीजिए last comment. That's why I say it. If people come out to vote, they want to put a very responsible government in place, an accountable government, a responsible yeah. government, a transparent government. I think they should do that. But government of India should not link it with the resolution of with with the death of the issue. Abhi Sapori. First, let's congratulate all our people who have voted in such huge numbers. Ji. Ji. Or साथ में this shows the faith and the respect for democracy. I think we should uh, okay go 30 ahead seconds each Nizamuddin Bhatt will start with you is election ka significance kya hai kuch alag hai pehle se bilkul alag hai we the people will decide one give us good government and respect our sentiment too that's the message Junaid divorce the political issue and the resolution of the political issue from a process of electing a government this is a self defeating exercise a dangerous exercise four more phases are to go <coughs> kashmiris have not voted as a referendum on the political issue if you wanted this to be a resolution of the political issue you should have told them this is you a referendum I, I, this is a referendum <coughs> nobody says as, that as you rightly said it is not a referendum this is an urge it is there and, and since an india is talking to pakistan it is it is it is since india is <coughs> talking to pakistan on this it itself indicates that it is an issue this election is all about development governance and accountability which needs to be won okay okay nazir before i give engineer rashid and sanjay call the last word your last thoughts tonight oh baka it is a great beginning in our democratic history but having said that why this uh, vote is linked to the larger conflict as per our uh, parliament resolution unanimous resolution pok is part of the jammu and kashmir part integral yes. part of yes. india but when elections happen there pakistan never counter india's claim that this is our integral part but you know because, this is also an election sanjay because, call this is because, also an election sanjay because, call because they people have voted there why vote here is seen where a, where a pakistani citizen a wife of sajad lone is campaigning for yeah. elections it's very ironic there are many ironies here she's the daughter of a kashmiri separatist <laughs> yeah. she's the daughter of the jk jkl founder these are people whom the bjp would traditionally have been very uncomfortable with i ask you again how much of your core ideology is the bjp willing to abandon for your mission 44 I think the core ideology is fundamentally that there are people who have developed an ideological bias. It is my business, my job to convince them otherwise, and that is precisely why I say that you are the allergy to the idea of a debate in Article 370 only shows that you are not confident where you stand. Number one, number two, please understand that even as you talk about it, there are people. 
and parts of Jammu and Kashmir who don't agree with this already. Okay, I'm totally out so of time. Engineer, engineer, engineer Rashid, Rashid, then I'll, I'll let you respond to what Engineer Rashid said and then we'll wrap. Yeah. जब हम ये कहें कि जो इलेक्शन होते हैं ये हमारी कामयाबी और हैवी टर्नआउट मेरा एक छोटा सा प्रश्न है एक छोटा सा सवाल जी, है। जल्दी। मैंने मिलिटेंट गेट्स किल्ड थाउजेंड्स में लोग हैं उसका जनाजा पढ़ते हैं वट इज द प्रॉब्लम तो आप क्या वो एक्सट्रीमिज्म करना चाहते हैं You are saying there should be respect for militants. आप उसको endorse कर रहे हैं? मैं ये कहता हूँ कि उसका ये मतलब है people want it should be resolved. Because okay, I give Sanjay. I give Sanjay the last word. Then we have to end. I think the fundamental thing to be resolved is basically: Are you giving your citizens the right to live the way they want to? Are you giving them the opportunities? Kashmir is in a phenomenal position today. to actually rewrite this whole thing they don't even understand what these people are insisting about they don't even know who's the, the they who's the they who's the, 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 the they who's the youth the young That's people do not even know what they're Kashmir. talking about believe me my point is simply this okay 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 i'll allow this i'll allow this young girl to ask you one thing to say sorry but Question. do you want to change the demography of jammu and kashmir do you want us to be thrown out of the borders absolutely do you want to change the demography of jammu and kashmir there has been allegations of you know made from subramaniam so swami said they want to revoke state subject laws that is about democracy subramaniam so swami okay okay or, or will they disown him again we have, to end. we have to end <laughs> one minute ma'am ma you made your point now no, sanjay no, call no. the perception that somehow the bjp is trying to do some i mean that's some some people are saying that some sort of demographic engineering here please respond to that quickly no no on the contrary oh goodness but the, the demo the demographic engineering has continued for 65 years and that is precisely why you have people from ladakh and jammu don't not agreeing with their their brethren in kashmir don't, don't look it to me no, don't speaker. look to me the fact of the matter is i am i am opposing that idea i am merely saying that everybody all parts of this state are integral all each citizen has the right Okay. To, to write his own to, future, and it is about the future. Then no, why I is the state to, subject law a problem? Here. I, 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 unfortunately, this debate can carry on for hours. Uh, but the temperatures are plummeting, and we do have to acknowledge that while there may be no agreement on what this high voter turnout represents, it is certainly a landmark moment. Just the levels of turnout. We'll have to see how the other phases play out. But an election, certainly, with so many new variables, that is different from any that we've seen before. No agreement on what that turnout. represents thank you very much to all our panelists thank you